Okay, 642. I've got the moon looking crystal clear. And I mean, enough that there's shadows on the ground, but you can't see that. Uh, all right, let's do this. It's not so freaking cold today. <laughs> remembered him today a lot of muscle soreness today um actually all yesterday my right thigh from the sprinting uh, has been sore and so we're still a little sore uh we will do what we can today though no way sold that says sold okay so that's kind of directly behind nancy's house and then kind of the neighbor's Huh. I will believe it when I see it because this one says sold and now they, they even left lights on it to make it look like somebody's in it. Oh, and this one says sold. I didn't notice on my way up the hill. Huh? Again, I will believe it when I see it. But that, I mean, that's what you would expect to happen. That It's like... Working at a school gym and what is going on? Okay, I don't know if I touched something. I don't know what I said because I'm really too busy walking. Anyway, um, if uh, I'll figure it out after in the edit. But um, if two more houses sold on the street, which I'm not sure I believe because I don't believe that that house is actually sold and they've left lights on to make it look like someone's there, nobody's there. Um, it's what you'd expect, right? You know, like I say, in the, the village gym, the school gym where my wife works, we would make microwave popcorn because we didn't have like a popcorn machine. And uh, as soon as you make that first bag of microwave popcorn and people smell it, then suddenly people are like, oh, I want popcorn. And then you'd sell a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> so sometimes she would make a bag just for herself so people could smell it. <sighs> All right, we'll see. Maybe there'll be more construction happening behind the house on the new street. I mean, since they since it's there, obviously I want the houses to get built. <laughs> but I don't trust them because, you know, that's one says it's sold and it's not. I still believe it's not. I'm gonna check. Christmas decorations, of course, are up. They got a snowman, they got candy canes, they got trees. I mean, so far, not like Halloween. It's crazy to think that people decorate more for Halloween, but Christmas decorations do tend to be a little bit more intensive, right? Uh, well, for the most part, right? Some of these people that were putting spider webs up and things attached to their roofs for Halloween, but, uh, you know, getting lights on the gutter line and stuff like that, you gotta get ladders out. And so maybe it's just a little bit more labor intensive. For instance, all I've done so far is go through the lights and discover, of course, yet again, that half of my LED lights, LED lights, which are supposed to last, half of them don't work anymore. And I like checked every bulb as best as you can. You know, were they loose? Or did they look corroded? Simple candle lights in the window. There you go. All right, enough yapping while looking at other people's homes. Oh, wait, there's Snoopy in a sleigh and I think the Grinch. Yep. The Grinch. Oh, it wasn't Snoopy. It did. It looked like he had ears. That's so funny. It must have been the side of Santa's beard. Morning, Santa. Morning, Venus. Whew. Sun is up-ish. Moon is still a thing. So today's listening is uh, actually the Joe Rogan podcast, which I recommend. He's talking to The Rock in the episode that I'm listening to. And I, I recommend it. So I'm at the, about the 20-minute mark. And uh, already just dropping little life lessons and little gems. And uh, the thing I like about Joe is, is he, um, I think, communicates in an amusing way that these things that are cliches uh, can still be true. And certainly I feel that same way. Uh, the two of them share this idea that to doing things with enthusiasm lifts everyone. 
uh, even things you don't necessarily want to do. And they quoted Mike Tyson and uh, both of them, you know, and you can tell in the way that they are, live their lives and the way their careers are going. And uh, that um, also being grateful. They both said, yeah, attitude of gratitude, you know, roll your eyes. But it's true, um, right? I am, uh, you know, I'm out trying to lose weight and I'm trying to get in better shape because I'm, you know, 58 years old. Um, because, because I can, right? There are people that literally cannot, literally cannot go out and walk for an hour. Can't do it. So I can, and that is a gift. And I better b- b- blippity blip blip appreciate the fact that I am able to do this. So you bet I'm gonna, and you should do it too, right? If you don't have a, something physical that's keeping you from doing things like this, do them. Sorry, had to get the X-Wing with Santa R2-D2. I was actually jogging and I stopped. Look at that, look at that sky. Oh, come on, focus correctly. Yeah, it's not as good on the phone as it is in real life. Never is, except for that one time. 53 minutes, long one today. (sighs) That's all right though, isn't it? That's all right. Take a picture. It lasts longer. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, inside this, I am in fact sweating. So, time to go hop in the shower and gotta be online. Definitely before eight because we've got, you know, our, our pupil. I think I'm actually gonna turn the switch, get this heat going <laughs> before I go upstairs. Christmas lights. All right. <laughs> well, helps if I turn it on. So much for that plan. All right, let's log in. I got a person at eight o'clock who'll be waiting for me because we've been training somebody all week. Yes, the exhaust fan is loud. Ooh, man, I was wrapping up a meeting, and I was cooking at the same time, so these are probably pretty close to being done. And no, I'm not going to eat them all. But this, I haven't had any beef yet today. All right, the battery for the one camera is charged. Just had to charge the other one. Um, while we were away on vacation, I had my son do it, and so I'm taking care of this one. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing reinstalled. Ooh, can I do this one-handed? I don't know. I'm going to clean it off a little bit. All right, see you out there. Let's turn that thing off. All right, let's eat. I am hungry. On the way to tonight's caroling gig, a plane just flew overhead because I'm by Lunkin Airport. You must remind me to take a caroling selfie. <laughs> Because Alaska guy forgot. And you know, we gotta promote the Cincinnati Christmas carolers on those on the internet. So I gotta do that. Alright. Why is my car beeping? And you're not hot, you're not overheating. Ugh, this car, the temperature sensor doesn't quite click onto the um, ball, the the reservoir. It just, I don't know, maybe it's the inexpensive reservoir that I purchased, uh, but it doesn't quite actually make, a, it doesn't click on, so it, it just, I think it wiggles a little loose, and then the, I think that's been my problem, I think that's what's telling the car, oh, you're going to overheat, because I can't, I can't tell what the temperature is, oh, and so, uh, yeah, I got to fix that, also, I was doing stuff around the house after work, um, and I'm like, just glanced at like my phone or my watch and went, oh crap, I gotta go. <laughs> and so I ran upstairs and pulled out my Caroline clothes. I can button the shirt easily and I can button the vest. Woohoo! And uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I gotta go. And now I'm like, I'm gonna be there in plenty of time, which is good. It's good. It's good to have that little sense of urgency. All 
All right, it is 57 degrees uh, at 8.17 on a Thursday night. The last day of November. So, yes, I have put the top down because I am a lunatic. <laughs> uh, I got caroling stuff. Uh, I'll probably uh, put my window back up. Yeah, so, yeah, driving through, uh, oh, gosh, Bramble. What do we even call this part of town? I don't even know. Uh, as I'm heading to church. All right, that was a good gig. It was good to sing with the Antonellis, a couple, uh, just long history with them singing and Emily, and then she got married and Alex sings too. And then they were doing like music at St. Xavier High School where my boys went. And so they sang with them and uh, it's just, you know, so, and he taught math to my guys and they were like, wait, you're singing with the Antonelli. So it was all good. And Gracie, of course. Uh, my my uh, niece, my niece, um, Chris's daughter. So it's all good. That was a good gig. Walking around, nice people. Um, yeah, that's the kind of gig that makes you want to come back and keep doing this. I am, however, driving up the old street, Erie Avenue. I've got a picture right from there, from the 20s. That building was there. And the house I grew up in is right there with the lights on the second floor. All right, uh, yeah, and there was the Bruins house and B. Healy and the Holtz and uh, everybody lived on my street. Uh, the house on the corner that people would wreck into the uh, corner. The other Thomas family lived on that corner. And then we walk or, uh, we would walk all the way up here because uh, when I turned 10 and we bought the bar, um, this, the bar is right here. This little stretch. And plus it used to have a taco place, the Tishmine Pharmacy where we'd get our uh, film developed and then of course this little strip was the UDF but now it's a dry cleaner because they moved the UDF to have a bigger spot on the corner up here which of course used to be a gas station and it is still a gas station all right enough of the scenic tour we never approach oh that's kind of cool I like it what they're doing we never approach the church from the front seat. did I mention before that I'm a little giddy that I could actually like button this vest. <sighs> well, it's Thursday. All that stuff is done and I am going to go watch the women play volleyball, but I am way overdressed. Yes, I'm I'm still in the caroling getup. But, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking good, so people are going to want to jump me. 